Phil Mickelson has officially asked for a release from the PGA Tour to play in the opening event of the new controversial Saudi-backed Golf League, a league that's just announced a $75 million purse for its finale in October, claiming it has 15 of the world's top 100 ranked players confirmed. As Guy Havelt reports, Mickelson's request comes on the same day he registered to defend his PGA Championship title. Biggest moment of the legendary career. Phil defeats Father Time. Not even a year ago, Phil Mickelson was celebrating becoming golf's oldest ever major winner. His stunning triumph at Kiowa, making him one of the most loved players on tour. Actually, they've lost control of the scene. Fast forward to today, though, and Mickelson's maligned, absent from the game since February, following comments about the new Saudi-backed Live Golf League. Mickelson's keen to join up, today asking for a release from the PGA Tour so he can play in the league's first event in London in June. It's hard to see as long as there's a threat that, you know, Live Golf starts recruiting players, Mm. the the stars of the game. As long as that threat's out there, this is not going to cool down. Launched by two-time major winner Greg Norman, the Live Invitational Series has ruffled feathers in the sport. Eight events around the globe, offering total prize money across the season of nearly $400 million, played at lavish golf courses in the US, Europe, Asia and the Middle East. And most controversially, the series is backed by the Saudi Sovereign Investment Fund, used to lure F1 boxing and the majority owner of Newcastle United in the Premier League, the fund for a regime linked to the murder of US journalist Jamal Khashoggi. I think the most compelling indicator for me is the number of calls we've had from corporations and other other individuals excited about the opportunity. Why? We've given another pathway, we've given another opportunity. The PGA Tour granted a number of releases for players to compete in the Saudi International in February. A direct tour rival, though, may be seen as a step too far. A full field will be announced next month, with the eyes of the golfing world watching the top players every move. Guy Havelt, One News.